Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads uh, the 5 kg, uh, the 5 kg uh, collar has a velocity of uh, 5 meters per second to the right. Uh, to the right, let me just move this a little bit. To the right, when it is at A, it then travels down along the smooth guide, and by smooth, we mean there is no friction. So determine the speed of the collar when it reaches point D, which is located just before the end of the curved portion of the road. The spring has an stretched length of 100 millimeters and B is located just before the end of the curved portion of the road. The second problem also reads more or less the same and we have been asked to determine the sp its speed when it reaches point B, as well as determining the normal force it exerts on the road at this point. Right, so both problems are coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and dynamics of 14th edition by rsc bella so let's draw the free body diagram we do have the weight um, we have the weight let's say we have the weight of course they are acting through the center of gravity and then we do have the spring force like so which keeps on Whose position keeps on uh, changing, right? As um, unless let me assume that the normal force, okay, coincides with uh, the spring force. Let me say, sorry, uh, the spring force is is not is in this direction like so. Sorry, right. Um, let me make this a bit shorter. All right. Okay, and then let me say the normal force coincides with the direction of uh, the normal force. I mean the spring force. This is in that direction like so. If the direction is wrong, it will get corrected as we saw. Right, since we want the normal force at some point in the second problem, we can say this is our um, our n-axis and then we have this one here is our uh, t-axis, tangential axis. So this one is a uh, this one is uh, our tangential and then this one is uh, normal right so let's call this one here is w uh, we call this one is uh, the spring force then we call this one uh, the normal force again if this is the wrong direction it will get corrected they're asking us to find the force, normal force at this point, which will just be straight like that, right? Great. What else? So, we are going to use the conservation of energy principle, right? Um, let me also just show the direction of motion. So, direction of motion is going to be in that direction like that. And we are going to call it AN. Okay, so let's write down this principle of uh, conservation of energy. So the kinetic energy at point one, uh, at A rather, at A uh, plus uh, the potential energy at point A is equal to the kinetic energy at point B plus the potential energy at point B. So let me pick this for my gravitational potential energy as my datum. Let this be my datum. Uh, so this one here is my datum, right? Okay. So T itself, like we said, this is 
the kinetic energy uh, this is the kinetic energy and then V is the gravitational potential energy and uh, the elastic potential energy so let's start from point A uh, let me move this I uh, bring it this side like so so we said this one is a n all right uh, so I have this one here and uh, I have this one there all right so uh, let's call this so this one will, will say this is l a and then this one is LB, these are the final lengths of the spring. And we know that L naught is just equal to uh, 100 millimeters, and which is just um, uh, point 0.1, right? And then LA is just equal to square root, uh, square root of point 0.2 squared plus 0.2 squared and this is just equal to this is just equal to uh, 0.2 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters mm -hmm. so 0.2 by 2 so this is just 0 0.08 all right and then lb is just equal to Point four. All right. So let's write down now this information. The initial kinetic energy at a t a uh, for this color is just going to be equal to. Uh, this is equal to half m uh, v a square. Okay, and then we do have v a. VAG, which is the gravitational potential energy, and is positive because our datum is down. We call it A, so this is just going to be equal to just W um, HA. Okay, so we do have our HA. Let me just indicate it this side, like so. That's our HA. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. So this is our HA. Okay, our HB is equal to zero, right? Uh, HA, and then uh, we do have uh v a elastic this is um half uh k uh k l a minus l node uh squared okay right and then what else to be uh, final or the kinetic energy at b so this one is just half this one is half uh, m v b square right and then v b v b g is just equal to w h b and since h b is equal to zero we expect v b g to just be equal to zero and v b e elastic is just half uh, a half k l b minus l node squared 
So we've written everything. Let's write this. Let's put them in the equation. So we do have 1 over 2 mva squared uh, plus wha, okay, plus half uh, kla minus l node squared. And this is just equal to um w um this is just equal to half mvb squared plus whb mm -hmm. plus half klb minus l node squared all right so we said this part is zero okay so let's fit in numbers in there so we do have half uh, times the color is 5 kg uh, times VA which is just 5 and plus the weight is just 5 times the acceleration due to gravity times HA and HA is just equal to HA is equal to uh, 200 which is just a point 0.2 200 millimeters right and then plus half times the stiffness which is just 50 and then we have root of 0 0.08 minus 0 0.1 squared then this is equal to half 5 by vb squared cos plus 0 plus half uh, 20 I mean 50 50 uh, LB which is just a point four minus point one square okay so we have everything so we can find our VB here we can find our VB directly. Let's grab your calculator, which you can calculate. Don't forget to square the final solution. Okay, there we go. So 0 0.5 by 5 by 5 squared plus 5 by 9.81 by 0.2 plus point plus point five by fifteen so root of point zero eight okay minus point one okay then squared and minus point five by fifteen uh by 0.4 minus this is just 0.3 squared okay right then uh, divided by 0.5 by 5 then square root of that so we have the velocity of the collar at B is 5.33 meters per second all right once we have this, uh, we can now, uh, we have determined the, uh, the velocity, which is one part of the problem. So we can simply say, um, for case, for case 14 dash 68, uh, we have calculated uh, our VB and is equal to uh, 5.33 meters per second. Then we go to case number 2, which is 14, um, 6, 9. 
14.69 they are asking us to find the same thing uh, this the, the speed right the speed when it reaches b so the speed remains the same doesn't change is vb equal to the same 5.33 meters per second and then uh, they are also asking us to find uh, to find the normal force all right so we can apply the equations of motion so we'll say using the equations of motion to find n we'll say summation of forces in the n axis that's equal to m a n all right so what do we have um mind you we are at b so you're using to find n when find when n at b find you at b uh all these the normal force and uh the spring force they all be in the horizontal axis okay shouldn't forget that so what we are going to have is we we'll have f s minus n equal to m a n which is just equal to m v b squared divided by rho okay where rho where rho is just equal to you see this is rho here this is the rho here you see it's the one creating this curvature there right seen that one so that is 0.2 okay 200 millimeters can you see it okay that is our row okay so row is just 0.2 meters so let's find what the value of fs fsb okay fsb is just equal to k times k times sb and this is just equal to 50 the stiffness and sb is just equal to uh, 0.4 minus 0.1 right and if we are to work out this just a 50 by 0.3 and this is a 15 therefore we do have a 15 uh, we have a 15 minus n equal to m b b uh, m our uh, m is just 5 and then we have vb which is just 5.33 squared and divided by 0.2 therefore our n which is the normal force is just equal to 15 minus 5 by 5.33 squared divided by 0.2 and here we get a minus 695 695.22 so the minor just shows that our shung direction was not correct therefore uh, this is supposed to be in this direction and this is just 695.22 newtons i guess this is about it we found the velocity at b there we go right uh it's the same case it's the same resolution in the second case and then the normal force uh we found a 695.22 so i hope this particular problem was helpful and video and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast